Hello, welcome back to Funtime Crafts 24-7. This is a project share video. What I'm sharing with you today is this really sweet little purse die set that I got in from uh, HSN. It's the new Anna Griffin. Uh, let me get it right here. A luxury quilted purse card die set. Um, it's this right here. These are your inspirations. It makes a card or it actually makes a box like this. It's absolutely adorable. Um, and so let's see, here's your, uh, product instructions for making the card and then, and, or the box on the back and then some more like, right? How cute are those? Um, so I got that, just got it in and had to make one of the little boxes and I thought this just came out so stinking cute and it's so easy to use. Um, I just used a layering die. Uh, so here, um, let's see on this one here. Because uh, I made two of them, but um, I just used a layering die, and then the bottom, and then the two side pieces, and then both handles. Um, oh, I did actually use this, because this is actually uh, what I cut my little uh, latch, because it has a little magnetic closure um, here. So you can open up the box, and it like then closes it and I just wanted a little latch on my little purse because I think it's so darling um so let's see so this paper here is out of an Anna Griffin paper pack um but there wasn't any name on it so it's let's see it it comes with like let's see how do I get you guys there it comes with like all these different 12 by 12 um and I think I got this on sale on her website when she had that that sell on her website it's like all these different patterns it's like wallpaper type patterns um yeah there's no there's no name on the cart it just came with all this and they're just single-sided um but i used obviously this brown one uh this really pretty brown one um and then i used some brown cardstock that i had in my stash that went with that gorgeous pattern on the front and this is some Anna Griffin matte rose gold um so I made the handles I cut the layering die um with the same that I made and I used on the bottom uh the the layering die and then rose gold for the handle and then I just cut a three quarter inch by five inch strip to go along the bottom and then this piece is cut out of rose gold out of the bottom of this and so I just laid this on a strip of rose gold and then I just trimmed it like there's just after the lock there's like three little dots and three little so I just trimmed it trimmed it because it cuts that these two little strips out and this trimmed on the uh to get that little this little pretty and this is what this is is just this portion here and uh folded in half glued to a little piece of um cardstock this is a one and a quarter by one and a half folded in half rounded the corners uh to match the purse and then and I made this exactly the way the direction said to and so I was a little apprehensive at first because whoa I wasn't sure like it looked like how in the world are you going to get anything in that tiny little opening but in actuality it it actually ha has quite a large opening and if you just literally didn't put the latch on it and, like, bulged it full of, like, goodies, how cute would that be? Like, it would look like a little, you know, cute little purse sitting on the table, like, full of goodness. <laughs> yeah, that's darling. So then I just cut this little piece of ribbon, uh, did, a, like, a little necktie tie um, knot on the little handle there. And these are popped up on some Heartfelt Creations Dimensionals, which are crazy strong. They, they're um, super thick to give a lot of dimension and they have these awesome pull tabs. So heartfeltcreations.com. Those are fabulous. And uh, so just a little magnet there. And then this is using the cartouche dies um, cut out in rose gold, double-sided there, um, did one on the back. And then the uh, everyday or no, mini sentiment stickers is where these are from. And I thought double-sided. And I just glued them together um, with some ha hanging on some Guterman thread, metallic thread. Um, it just, you know, so it's just super, just super cute. And I thought this just came out so stinking cute. Uh. <laughs> that is the cutest thing ever isn't it oh my gosh it's so fabulous so yeah if you make it just exactly like the directions say works great 
Um, I wanted a little bit bigger opening so I didn't have to squeeze it together to get something in it. Um, so I actually made gussets for this one. This is rose gold and white cardstock. And then um, just some little one inch seam binding ribbon I had in my stash. So what I did for this one is I glued the handles directly to the front. Cut this out with the um, detail die. Um, oh, and that, that cart, it's the smallest one, circular one in that set, the cartouche one die, um, cut and fold, emboss folder, it's that small one, um, for that. So then, um, yeah, so I used that on rose gold, glued it onto some white, and then, um, in the middle of the handles, after I glued those on, I just punched, used my little We Are Memory Keeper hole punch, punched them at the same time, you know? And then just put this little seam binding through. And that way, you would have a really nice size opening. And it would stay open. Um, so what I did was, is I cut the pieces out like they have here. Um, like this. Um, I used this one and then the layering. This one for white. This one with the layering for the matte gold, rose gold. This for white on the bottom, so the bottom piece, white for the two sides, and then for each side, I cut out two of these pieces, which are supposed to be for the card, but I used them, used them as my gusset, folded them a half, and on the top, I cut the top off so the pointy, it wasn't pointy, it was flat, and so I what it, what it was was I wanted to keep the triangular design, and so I just glued, so I cut one for this side and one for that side, and on each side of this, uh, the, with the tabs, I just glued, I just glued one here, glued one there, folded it, and that's what I glued onto the side, and then cut it straight at the top, so that way it wasn't poking up past this piece. See, like that, like how cute, right? So, see, it's glued there, and then it's glued on the inside. I don't know if you can. Like, I glued it on the inside and on the inside. And actually, this one's put together with score tape because I was in a hurry and wanted to see what it was going to look like. <laughs> so anyway, so I did that to both sides. And then I got to keep my triangular, you know, it's so cute. I love that. And so then, yeah, so then I just ran this through the punched holes. This one is so simple. I'm still going to add, like, one of these little cute little charm dangles to it. And then I just wanted a beautiful, like, scarfy ribbon for the front of it. And so that's why I use this like giant one inch. This stuff is so soft. Oh my goodness. It is really soft. It's um this right here. One one inch. Oh, one inch. One inch. Does it say? Right there. And I got this off of Amazon. So anyhow. But yeah. Aren't these just so cute? Like, right? Oh my gosh, I love them. But anyways, that is, yeah, these are. Oh, I just love it. I love these. And uh, so anyways, I wanted to share my projects with you. Okay, I can't tie that on camera. That's not going to happen. So anyhow, <laughs> let me know what you think of the projects down in the comments below. Um, let me know if you have the die and if you've played with it yet um, or you're still waiting on yours and looking forward to it. Um, yeah, this one is super cute, super fun. Don't be afraid to make it the way it shows because it is fabulous. <laughs> I love it. I love it so much. God, this one's looking so wonky. Okay, maybe you just need to be like, woohoo. <laughs> Anyhow, I hope you guys are having a terrific week. Uh, thanks so much for hanging out. And until next time, happy crafting, everyone. Bye-bye.